Okay, so I want to give you a few tips on how to uh, sleep better and avoid hurting yourself when you're resting or sleeping, okay? So I want to give you a few tips about postures. First of all, there are really only two postures you should be in when you're sleeping. That's either back or side with proper pillow support. So <clears throat> that means stomach sleeping is not appropriate and for a couple of reasons. One is that your low back has no support and will extend and compress and irritate. The other one is that your neck is going to end up being uh, torqued or rotated to a degree that it will stress the, the tissues and ligaments and inflame your neck and create a neck problem. Now, when you're sleeping on your side, uh, a, a tip is to be able to put a pillow between your knees uh, and to make sure that your head is in your neck is in neutral position when you're laying on your side. You want to avoid putting your arm and your shoulder underneath your neck, those kinds of things, because that will entrap your brachial plexus and compress. If you're laying on your back, um, your pillow should support your neck, not the back of your head. It should be a neutral, and you can also place a pillow underneath your knees. Okay, so those are just a few tips about proper sleeping. Pillows for your neck, um, I'll be happy to guide you through that. There's no one pillow for everybody for lots of reasons, but you should actually have a pillow that supports you and sustains your nervous system in the proper fashion so that you actually can, um, your body gets to do what it needs to when you're resting. Now, um, there are um, some tips I want to give you about uh, restfulness or sleepfulness. One is that Many people have uh, difficulty sleeping now. They have a hard time either falling asleep or staying asleep. If you have a hard time falling asleep, then I'm going to tell you that you need to be careful about sugars, eating late at night, spiking your blood sugar with either alcohol or treats, and you should also have um, a protein before you go to bed at night. It could be almond butter, a handful of raw almonds, hard-boiled eggs, something like that. Um, if you're waking up during the night frequently or at a regular time, for example, 2.30, 3.30 in the morning, this is not uncommon. Those are cycles in your system and often your blood sugar is dropping at that time. So you, again, you want to make sure you have a protein 20 to 30 minutes before you go to bed so that you can sustain your blood sugar through the night while you're resting. The other thing is, is that prior to bed, you should be doing things that are calming, not activating. So today we fight the, the tendency to be on our iPads in bed and watching TV programs, graphics, those kinds of things are all very stimulating to brain. So they, they don't allow you to, to relax and have your midbrain settle down so you can get into sleepfulness. So things that are <clears throat> activating like uh, dramatic movies, uh, a lot of visual graphics, uh, intensity of movies, video games, searching on the internet, those kinds of things are not conducive to good sleep. Things like reading, appropriate lighting, softer lighting, those kinds of things are much more preparatory for sleep. So I hope that hopefully that's helpful for you um, in some of those little areas. You can always review this, share this with your friends. Thanks so much.